Hey guys, it's Jason with uh, JW Class VW, and today we're going to work on getting the engine out of the bug. Uh, first off, Merry Christmas and soon to be Happy New Year. Last time we uh, discovered that the compression on my cylinders were not where they needed to be. If you remember, it was uh, low 90s on three cylinders and then about uh, 110 to 115 on the uh, number three cylinder. So, we've got some work to do and uh, we're going to get started. See you in a second. Okay, as you guys can see, I've already started on some of the disassembly of the engine. I'm going to go ahead and continue with getting everything out of there today, and uh, you guys get to come along for the ride. Alright, so here we go. Trying to give you guys a decent view from underneath here, so you can see everything that's taken off. Got to get the rest of the manifold hardware off here, so I get the exhaust out. Let's see, Let's see right there. It's getting a good uh, place to set you guys up. Not even those little tiny tripods. Okay, now it's time to pull out the uh, throttle cable. I like to keep my fuel line back here so that way, you know, it's out of the way of the engine compartment. I kind of think it gives it a cleaner look too. Plus, uh, also it allows me to uh, prevent the uh, you know, possibility of fire. Okay, so we have the, uh, the fuel line disconnected, the throttle line disconnected, and now we need to go ahead and disconnect the four bolts on the back of the engine so that we can get it out of there. We're almost there. We can get it out and uh, maybe we can see if, uh, if there's any noticeable issues, but I don't think so. It'll probably be a matter of uh, work on the heads and uh, the cylinders probably need an adjustment on the deck plate. back out, get the uh, clutch off and the flywheel off and get her back up in the stand.
So I want to check and see if there's any obvious issues that I can see right away. Get this manifold off. It's, it's not, so, it's not a covers. It's not a tins off. Two. Number two was my cylinder that was not uh, was not firing, or at least not firing correctly. None of the compression was off. And you guys can see what I was seeing, which hold on. so at first inspection, there's no no leakage in between the cylinders that I can see. I don't see any leakage in between the cylinder and the head. So, something else is gonna be wrong. I'm gonna take a look here in a little bit. I'm gonna drain the oil on the engine and then uh, we'll go from there. Any side of the extension that'll fit across the uh, cylinder. Put that across the top, and you can measure it. That's that's pretty pretty close right there, man. That's point three five. Carpet three square too. And you can s I'm gonna set this right across here. And measure. The point three five is it it just fits underneath there. So that's pretty close, 0.035. I believe it's supposed to be between 40 and 80. So it could probably use a little, a little bit. Let's see what else we got here. So this makes 0.045. And that still seems to fit right there, not too bad. So there's definitely, I'm definitely within spec. All right, I got the other side all loosened up. About to come off. Let's see if we see anything crazy inside. mirrored on the inside.
down to a short block again. Thanks for hanging out with uh, me and Goose today, working on the engine, trying to figure out some of the issues that might be there. It looks like it's probably going to be a, a, a head deck height issue with maybe, um, I'm going to go ahead and probably check out the rings on the pistons as well, kind of verify that. But uh, thanks for joining. This is Jason with uh, JW Classic VW. See you guys next time. Bye.